love one it is me blade kid and today i'm going to be talking about the top five hasbro beyblade combos now this is my top five personal list i uh, feel free to post what you think in the comments and i'll gladly debate to you uh without further ado let's just get in to number five uh just a disclaimer uh this is the combos i decided to you know Diversify, no layer has been repeated. I try to keep the combos different enough. Yeah, because otherwise this would probably be like three Orpheus combos, a surprise, and, and I don't know, something else. But yeah, let's go. So, first up, we're going to have Rock Tavor, Heavy Jaggy um, here. This also kind of tied with it. Uh, uh, heavy nothing, but I put Jaggy in just because I've seen better performance out of it, uh, comparatively. Uh, but yeah, so this is, I don't know if this is the strongest attacker on the list, uh, but it's probably, like, at peak it's the strongest. This thing can beat pretty much everything in the game when it comes to attack, unless they're on Unite, but even then it can kind of outspin it sometimes, uh, it's kind of hard to launch it, but once you get it down, uh, it's very strong. The only problem is it's a little bit inconsistent when it comes to just being good. Sometimes it just won't do attack well. It's attack. It, it makes sense, but that's one of the things that keeps it down here. Also, that everything above it is really freaking strong. Okay, so now on to number four. So, number four is going to be Atlas Anubion Yell Orbit. So, yes, this is the stock combo. This is mostly on here because this is, like, the best performing Beyblade I've ever seen when it comes to just, like, a kid gets a combo and throws it out there and does really well. This combo has very little weaknesses and is very safe overall, and that's why it's so good. It's just, it has very high stamina, along with pretty decent serviceable defense. Um, it has weaknesses, yes, but I feel it's just, it's just so good overall, and it's also stock, and it's also one five below, one five dollar bill away from doing at least pretty well in a tournament if you're new. Um, this is the best newbie combo, I'd say, in the entire game, because... With all the other ones on this list, you're going to have to spend at least, you know, 30 bucks. Maybe even have to buy some older ones that are kind of unavailable. Um, but even without that, even if this was hard to obtain, it would still be number four. It is really, it is really up there in, in terms of performance. Next up, the, for number three, let's go to it. Number three. It's going to be Dead Spryzen or Spryzen S2 on Gravity Zephyr. Or Gravity Iron. Gravity Zephyr works too, but yeah. We're talking about Iron today. This is a combo that Wombat kind of popularized. Um, I kind of gave uh, Spryzen the blind eye because I didn't think it was too good. I know it had a pretty high attack, but I thought it was just kind of like, you know, me messing around. Oh, it looks pretty cool sometimes. But no... This thing is seriously hot performance-wise. It has some of the best and most consistent damage in the game. Um, it can it KO and burst most things while outspinning the things it can't KO and burst. So it's probably the most versatile Beyblade in the entire game, uh, at least for Hasbro. There's Takara Tommy Bays that cover that niche as well. But I feel like it covers it just too well in Hasbro. It's kind of hard to use sometimes, and it has one flaw, which is, like, its burst resistance is only, like, good. It's not, like, fantastic burst resistance, like something like Reactivor. So, Anti-Attack can definitely deal with this. But even then, there's definitely counterplay. There's counterplay to everything that counters this, uh, besides maybe Tyros. And that's just kind of bullcrap, uh... Basically, what happens in the Tyros matchup is, unless you stall, which Tyros can still probably outspin you if you stall, 
Splicing will burst pretty much every time. Uh, but that's just mine. Maybe if you have a Tidal Iron or a Tidal S2, it'll work better for you. Nevertheless, this is still one of the most consistent attack types in the game. One of the strongest attack types in the game. And one of the most versatile just bays in the game in general. And again, you'll have no problem going up against semi-good defense with this. Uh, but yeah, uh, on to number two. So, number two. Uh, this is a Beyblade I don't think a lot of you probably were expecting unless you've talked to me recently. Uh, I think this layer in particular is very good, but I'm going to go over the whole combo. This is Dronzo, uh, yeah, this is Dronzo Flame. Dronzo, yeah, Dronzo Flame. Dronzo Flame is an excellent layer, uh, but I'll get into that more on my tier list, which is coming out hopefully soon. But with this combo, right, you have very high stamina. This is uh, Gravity Obsobnesias. This has very high stamina and life after death, which means matchup chart wise, you basically set and usually with high stamina like Death Scyther, you get hard countered by attack. But that's not really even the case because if you take a look, this thing has very tight slopes. Knuckle probably even works a little bit better. But I chose heavy for the extra uh, gravity for the extra weight and stamina. Even like strong attack types. I think V2 is probably its biggest counter, besides maybe Death Scyther if you have a very tight one uh, and a very good stamina. Like, if you have a perfect balance one with a really good revolve, you're probably going to beat this, but even still. Um, other than that, this bay basically has no counters. It counters left spin because of absorbed dashes. It counters defense because of its high stamina. It counters most attack types because of its high defense. And it can usually counter other stamina too. Um, you'll notice it has very strong contact points here. And that's part of its main downside, but I'll get into that in a little bit. Um, it can take out things like a weaker Doom Sizer or a Death Scyther in combat. But I wouldn't really rely on that, to be honest. I'd rely on its other strengths. I think its main weakness is it's the layer itself is light and again that's why I have gravity to add extra weight but it kind of gets bopped around by a lot of things and if something drains its stamina through attack it can even outspin it like that but usually you're not going to have that problem. Uh, overall this is a very solid Beyblade that you can probably spam and win with. I want to see people out in the streets spamming this at classic tournaments. Because it deserves to be used, damn it. So, for honorable mentions. Uh, first off, we have this thing. This is a fantastic meme. And it's very strong, but it's also very inconsistent. It's not that it bursts a lot, it's just that it fails to get hits a lot of times. Uh, it's not very stable, and it also gets destabilized ridiculously easily. But when it works, this probably has the strongest attack in the game. But it's also really not worth it to risk unless you're a god with luck, or you find some way to make it, like, hella consistent. But, again, good meme, fantastic meme. If you're really up in a tournament, or you just you don't really care, that is a fantastic meme to throw out there. Um, next up, uh, we have Valtriac V2 Knuckle Extreme. Strong attack type. I don't feel it's as strong as Takara Tomi's because on the Takara Tomi one, if you look at this contact point, uh, it's actually completely flat instead of this hook there. So this adds burst attack, but detracts from its KO attack. So it's not the KO attack beast like you know, the Takara Tomi one is. Uh, I'd say this could also be interchanged with Excalius, uh, Knuckle Extreme, or Heavy Extreme. Keep in mind, you know, all the other mentions. I think it, that's better for KO attack, but I don't know, you know, how it compares to this just regularly. 
Uh, also, I feel like Takara told me does the deed way better when it comes to just KO attack because of all the dash drivers. Uh, but yeah, still a solid choice if you're good enough with it. Next up, we have Giga Gaia Gravity Unite. Unfortunately, KO defense just is, is too niche to be like a top five combo. Because keep in mind, these are like the ones you're going to be using all the time in tournament. Uh, it's like, it's very strong. And it holds probably the spot as the strongest defense type when it comes to a lot of defense. Um, but nobody's throwing out the level of attack that would require this. Um, unless they're using KO attack, then be my guest and use it. But most people aren't going to throw out just that much attack that you need that much defense for. Um, and you can probably cover it with the number one choice if it's anything below, like, Takara Tomi V2 on Extreme Dash. Next up, we have another defense type. This is Unicrest Heavy Yard Dash S. Probably one of the uh, best boost defense types, not counting, like, the things on this list, of course. Um, but, like, Loctivore can handle this. Uh, though, again... It's at a sizable... This is a, at a sizable advantage against Loctivore. The Loctivore can break through it. Uh, stamina's okay. Yard Dash is, I feel like, this, the best boost defense driver in in Hasbro. Because Orbit's not very tight. But... Yard Dash is. Uh, not much to be said. Just standard boost defense type. That's kind of just outclassed. Um... Next up, we have. Next up, we have, uh, dark, death, dark doom sizer, knuckle, uh, absorb dash has. This is probably the best raw stamina type in the game, um, but it also has worse defense than like, dragoon or drones of uh, flame, so that's kind of why. If Dwarves of Flame didn't exist, exist, this would have probably made the list instead. It still has good enough defense to, like, ward off some attack types, but not, like, good attack types, right? Like, you're gonna beat that slightly over-aggressive, like, uh, Ifrit or something like that, but you're not gonna be able to beat, like, the Roctivores and the Spryzons with this, unfortunately. Um, still a solid stamina combo, though. Like, probably the best Hasbro has to offer that's, like, viable. Or at least regularly viable. Next up, and last up, we have... This is going to be kind of like an unofficial number six, but I don't think it deserves to be that at the same time. This is, uh, Dranzu... Dr Dragoon Fandom. Uh, EL Eternal Dash S. My problem with this is it's very good, but it's very inconsistent as well if this was consistent it'd be very easily top five but unfortunately you'll just lose matches for no reason like i lost to kubeus k2 on revolve with this combo i lost to unicrest on orbit with this combo i lost to a2 on orbit with this combo it's like if this was more consistent genuinely it'd be fantastic but it's just not it's just not consistent. Um, and even if there are some counters like Neptune that get in the way, I feel like that would be fine because it needs counters. But it's not consistent enough to, like, really... It's a gamble when you go out there unless you're being countered. If you're not being countered, it's a gamble. If you are being countered, you're just going to lose. But that's kind of what makes this bag an unfortunate case. Because this was almost the perfect equalizer, I feel. Unfortunately, you know, as I said, it's not consistent enough to be that good. Uh, but yeah, on to our number one. So, number one is going to be Orpheus O2 Heavy Yard Dash S. This is one of the plentiful variations of the Orpheus on a ball-shaped tip kind of niche. Uh, not really niche, kind of overpowered thing. But this combo, I feel, has the most uh, strong points with the least amount of weaknesses. 
Um, let's go over its strengths, okay? Its boost defense is very freaking tough. It's very hard to boost this thing. Uh, Blocktivore even struggles with it sometimes. Uh, which, that's surprising. Same with S2. Its stamina is also very impressive. Uh, it may not win too many matchups by pure stamina, but the thing it's got up its sleeve is its destabilization is very good. Uh, if you look, it's got these two slumpy points on the sides. Um, and this one slumpy point in the front that really catches people. Uh, and these two kind of gaps here, which can really hit, make an impact, knock people off balance. Um, and it's also smooth, so it can definitely deflect some attacks. It's just stabilization wins way more than you expect. You can't outspin some like very top stamina things. Like you struggle against Juanzo Flame. Um the combo I mentioned, you definitely struggle against that. Uh I think you struggle a bit against like Death Scyther combos too. Um but those are a bit easier to destabilize. The main thing I've noticed that gets through that counters Orpheus is Neptune. I don't think I've ever beaten Neptune with uh, Orpheus before. but And I've gone against Yami and Wombat, and I've lost both matchups. They, even though they were kind of close. Uh, but another thing you have to go on the Orpheus cherry cake is you have very strong anti-attack. Probably the best anti-attack Hasbro has. Not even like the best Beyblade with anti-attack. Like the best anti-attack Beyblade, um, but it has these three crowny bits up top, these kind of conic points, that's kind of like a wall, and then these two conic points here, which it really acts like, uh, Beat Kid Kalkin or Takara Tomi Q2, this is very similar, but like better in pretty much every way, um, it can really burst and like, Kind of reverse KO some stronger attack types that are coming out your way. Um, and as long as you get that golem launch down, you'll pretty much easily deal with most attack types. Um, the downsides to this, which they aren't that big of a deal, is you don't have as much stamina uh, as you do with Orbit. You get destabilized much easier too, but that's kind of mitigated. Um, I have gotten destabilized and lost matchups before. But that's kind of the thing. Orbit does not do that as often, but it also has a lot worse boost defense. Um, and also, KOs, self KO is a lot easier. But, yeah, other than like getting destabilized and outspun yourself, there's very little counter play to this Beyblade. Besides pure, pure attack that's spot on. Uh, usually, that's the thing with anti attack. Um, but. Heavy also gives it a lot of defense that it otherwise would not have, uh, while also maintaining good balance, uh, good RPMs, uh, pretty decent stamina too. But overall, it's just the best Hasbro combo in my opinion. Uh, that said, I'd recommend using a variety of combos instead of just spamming the best one, because this has a counter, of course. Like, this has a hard counter, like everything usually does. This is kind of its hard counter, if you want to know. Uh, this is also a hard counter to Orpheus. Uh, just to give you two right there. But yeah, guys, thank you for watching this video. Uh, if you liked it, drop a like on the video. Uh, if you want more content, please consider subscribing. And if you disagree with me, comment down what you think are the best combos. Or if you agree, tell me that you agree. Good to hear feedback, you know. Thank you guys so much for watching. You have a good one. Peace.